Yes, ma'am. You. <laughs> you said that good. Yeah. Coach Young Harrison, there'll never be no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. All right, all right, LDBC, this is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison, Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, uh, a couple of y'all, a lot of y'all gave me this story, and, uh, you know, and I, and I actually looked at it and researched it, you know, for myself uh, to really see if Amanda Nunes was, was really, you know, like really saying what you guys said, and yeah, man. Okay, so let me go ahead and read what Amanda Nunes said, and then let me go ahead and just, I, I'm, finna, I'm finna tell the real, okay? I, it's finna get real in this video. Okay, Nunes told Sportsnet Wednesday she is feeling way better. Now at it, she is meeting with a specialist Thursday to determine a course of action to treat her condition. Nunes believes she will require surgery. I have to see with the doctor what I'm going to do if it happens again the week of the fight. Um, because with USADA, we have to be very careful with the medication, Nunez says. Tomorrow at the appointment, we will see what I can do. All right. Guys, I've been 100% correct on this whole Amanda Nunez thing since I started telling y'all about this. Uh, you know, guys, I told y'all back in February that I didn't feel like Amanda Nunez was living a fighter lifestyle. I didn't feel like Amanda Nunez was preparing herself for Valentina because Amanda knew that she was going to have to fight Valentina. I told y'all in February, man, this girl, after she got that payday from Rousey, that was it. Okay, it was a wrap. And, you know, a lot of y'all, well, some of, not a lot of y'all, but some of y'all came on and said, Coach, uh, I mean, you know, Amanda don't deserve a vacation. And I'm like, yeah, she do. But, you know, Valentina over here is hungry, man. Like, she's training like she ain't got no money. Like Valentina training like she dirt ass poor and eating crumbs off the floor. And I said, this, this is not good because if you got somebody over here on one end that they killing themselves. I'm talking about seven days a week. I mean, Valentina, the only thing she doing to take a break is she taking a piss and taking a dump and drinking Inca Cola. I mean, that's when she taking her break. And I said, I'm getting, I'm getting kind of worried because I feel like Amanda Nunes is enjoying the fruits of her labor a bit too much. Okay, I understand you take a couple of weeks here, maybe even maybe a whole month vacation, but, you know, in March, I felt like Amanda Nunes should have been on the grind, and I didn't really see her doing much of anything until the end of April, maybe. You know, end of April, early May, which I'm like, man, this fight in July. And then, you know, she looked heavy. And I said, Amanda Nunes looks very, very heavy. And I said, I told y'all, I said, she going to have a problem making weight. No, no, you know, and, and I had several people disagree with that, but... <laughs> I mean, guys, I was right about this. She did have a problem making weight. She was cutting weight, I mean, damn near the last week. Okay? So now, I want y'all to look, okay? Okay, Amanda Nunes, I guess uh, she went to, I don't know, some function, okay? It was an Oilers game or hockey. I, I don't know where she was at. But uh, she posed with uh, uh, Demetrius Johnson. And I'm looking at Amanda. Amanda done put on some weight. Amanda done put on a lot of weight since... You know, and it's just been a couple of weeks and she don't put this weight on. And it's like, okay, now you got to fight with Valentina in six weeks, okay? You have to fight the bullet in six weeks. You know how hard it is for you to, to lose weight. And so now I start thinking, okay, what what's really her deal? Okay, is Amanda Nunes, because she says she might require surgery, so is she really, like, not going to fight again on, on September the 9th? And I'm almost beginning to believe that that's the case. I'm starting to think this. And, you know, here's here's the reason why, okay? Here's the reason why. Okay, she's saying surgery, man, but she says she feels better. Like, she says she feels way better. You know, and, uh, okay, so you feel better. So, you think that they may recommend surgery. Okay. And so I'm almost thinking, would this jeopardize the fight? But then I started really researching, okay, when, when you have sur si surgery on your sinuses, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't require you to be out for a long time. But, you know, I can already see that this is going to be an issue. I I'm telling y'all, it's going to be an issue, okay? And I just think that Amanda knew, and listen, guys, I know, you know, a lot of fans, you're going to you're gonna get mad at this. I'm sorry, but I, I got to keep this thing 100. I got to tell you exactly how I feel about this. I honestly think that Amanda really and truly is holding on to that belt for dear life. Like, literally, she holding on to it. And I think Amanda Nunes has really forgotten how to be hungry. 
you know, and, you know, and, uh, who was that that said that? Oh, yeah, King Mo said that. Well, you know, yeah, Amanda Nunez, you know, came from nothing, dirt poor and this. I, I think Amanda done forgot that. And I think really, she really is enjoying that belt and she don't want to let it go. And I think she is going to do this and she needs more time to prepare. See, I've said all of this stuff, but people don't really buy it. A lot of people don't buy it. I just don't really buy what Amanda Nunez is saying. She probably would need surgery. Who knows? But, you know, what she's saying and what she's doing, that's two different things, okay? Because if I knew that I had the big fight coming back again in a matter of weeks, I wouldn't have put on a massive amount of weight. And you can tell in this photograph with Demetrius Johnson, yeah, she definitely looks heavy. She looks very, very heavy. And what is she going to do? She's going to run into the exact same problem. She's going to have to cut weight. And she's going to have to cut the weight at a rapid pace. And her sinuses are going to act up. And she says she has this problem all the time. So, you know, but right now she feel better. I mean, man, listen. I, I'm not trying to hear it, okay? I ain't trying to hear it. I'm not even going. I ain't. I'm not falling. I'm not falling for the. I'm not falling for the Jedi mind trick no more. Okay? Amanda Nunes know this girl on the left side of the screen. And this girl meaning Valentina. She know this girl hungry, man. She know that this girl is dying trying to get this belt. Amanda know. And the jig is up, man. The jig is up with Nunez. It is. If Nunez go in there and beat Valentina, you know, she gets props. Always. I've always given Amanda props, y'all. But I, I don't know. This just, It seems fishy because she says she feel better. But she's been doing like a lot of, like a lot of chilling. I mean, and it's almost like, okay... Is her mind in a fight game anymore? Like, if she loses, I mean, is she going to retire after this fight? I mean, folks, that's really how I'm feeling, that Amanda Nunes really doesn't want to fight. Like, not just Valentina. I, I don't think she want to be in a fight game too much. I, I think Amanda Nunes wants out. That's my honest opinion. That's all I can say. You know, and I felt like, you know, like, like Jermaine, you know, she was showboating the belt around. Knew she had to fight Cyborg, but she was still showboating the boat, uh, the belt around, and it and it's almost like okay, it's a matter of time, and it's not me being hateful or me, me. I'm just I'm telling y'all I'm being honest. I got a lot of respect for Amanda Nunes. I got a lot of respect, but I feel like, and this is my opinion, I feel like Amanda Nunes feels like she's on borrowed time, and that this belt is leaving her soon. Like I, I think that's how she feel. I I don't know y'all. I just all these things that's just happening and she got to do this, she got to do that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. This girl here ain't in the fight game. I'm telling y'all straight up. I've been around the game of coaching athletes for over 20 years. And I can tell you when somebody ain't serious. I mean, she done put on this weight, you know, and she talking. Uh-uh. Uh nope. Sorry. Her head ain't in this game, y'all. I'm sorry. That's just how that is, okay? I love my Brazilian sisters. I love them to death, but I can't co-sign this right now. I can't do it. And, you know, if she does require surgery, it's not its not like she's going to be out. They don't keep you out that long. But I know she'll use it as an excuse, and I know she'll say, well, you know, ain't going to be able to fight. I, I'm telling y'all, it's coming. You heard it first here live. Coach Sheldon Harrison. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.